Do you need a traditional steel wok to cook Chinese food? Hi, I'm Michael and you're watching Chow With Lao. So the question is, do you always need to use a steel wok to cook Chinese food? Or will something else do instead? Well, stick around guys. I'm gonna give you the answer as to why the answer is mostly no, but sometimes yes. So what are the advantages of using a traditional steel wok when it comes to Chinese cooking? Well, first of all, if you look at the wok, if you look at the steel wok compared to the nonstick wok, the actual metal is quite a bit thinner than the actual nonstick wok. And what that means is there's less between your heat source, there's less material between the heat source and your oil and your ingredients. That means that the wok gets hotter quicker and it's more intense. And as we know, Chinese cooking is all about heat and speed. And so therefore, this is kind of a lot more fine tuned for cooking the way that the Chinese cook. Quick, fast, hot. Just like me. So when you're using a non-stick wok or a non-stick frying pan, they will do the job, but because they're thicker, they don't transmit the heat through to your oil and your ingredients quite as quickly, and therefore they're not quite as responsive or intense as your steel wok. However, the very thing that makes a steel wok excellent for stir fries is something that can count against you. Because the metal is thinner, because the heat comes through faster, more intense and more fiery, it's very easy to burn things. For example, if you were starting a stir fry where you fry off some garlic to start the recipe off, especially fine chopped garlic, it's very easy to burn. And if you're not very careful, or if you just take your eye off for it for a second, that garlic is gonna burn. If you were using a non-stick wok or a non-stick pan, because the thicker gauge material allows the heat to come through more slowly, more gradually, and more gently, you've got less chance of doing that same burning. So if you are more of a beginner cook, then I would suggest that a non-stick pan or a non-stick wok is probably more suitable for you right now. You can always graduate onto a steel wok when you have got more experience and you know what you're doing a little bit more and a steel wok will help your cooking to another level. There is no getting away from the fact that the best appliance to use with a steel wok is a gas burner. That is a stone cold fact. The sheer heat and the speed of a gas burner is perfectly matched to cooking with a steel wok. But if you are using an electric stovetop or an induction stovetop, even though those are great and have come on leaps and bounds in the last 10 years or so, it's gonna blunt the usefulness of your steel wok because it doesn't give you that intensity, it doesn't give you that speed. So if you're using one of those appliances, I would suggest that you're probably better off with a non-stick pan or a non-stick wok. You still will be able to get good results with a steel wok, but you're gonna lose the absolute edge that you get with it, plus you've got to still maintain that steel wok, and maintenance is my next topic. I always compare cooking with a steel wok with driving a race car. Mm -hmm. Now hear me out there, that might be a bit of a stretch, but I'll try to make it make sense for you. When you're driving a race car, it is designed for one purpose, to go around the track as fast as humanly possible. Same with a steel wok, it's designed to cook in ideal conditions the best Chinese stir fries, okay? But there are compromises because a race car can only carry one person usually, and a steel wok needs looking after, needs maintenance. If you are cooking with a non-stick wok or a non-stick pan, all you've got to do is stick it in the dishwasher or give it a scrub in the sink with detergent. Now, as we all know, steel woks take a little bit more maintenance than that. Before you even start cooking with them, you've got to season them. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the upper corner for you. After you finish cooking, there's a special way that you've got to take care of cleaning them because you don't want to use detergent and get rid of all that seasoning. You just want to use plain water and just gently get rid of all the surface dirt and then you're good to go again after you've coated it with a little bit of oil to stop it from rusting. And that's a lot more complicated than using a non-stick wok or a non-stick pan because they're just use and forget. So after all that, do you need a steel wok to cook your Chinese food properly? 
Well, I can say with absolute certainty that it depends. What? I would say that if you have a gas stove top and you want to push yourself and learn and get the best out of your cooking, then absolutely go for a steel wok. If, however, you only consider yourself a casual cook or you only do Chinese food or stir fries every now and then, and or if you run electric stovetops or induction stovetops, then I would be more inclined to use a non-stick wok or a non-stick pan because you'll get 90% of the usability with none of the actual maintenance or faff that you get with using a steel wok and they're easier to use. What you don't want to do is make life so hard for yourself that you actually end up not cooking because it's a bit of a frustration for you. I want you to enjoy your cooking, so use the tool that suits you. There is no shame, absolutely no shame in using non-stick appliances because if you look back on my videos, I'd say three quarters of them, maybe even more, are done with non-stick pans and non-stick woks and they work perfectly for me. Okay, I only changed towards the end because I thought, okay, well, we're gonna move on. Beforehand, I was thinking, what have people got in their kitchens already? I didn't want people going out, especially during the pandemic, I did not want them to go out, or maybe they couldn't go out and buy a steel wok if they hadn't got one. Okay, so there was no point. And all I was trying to do was help people. Whatever it is that you choose to use, just make sure that you enjoy your cooking. I always live by that old cliche. It ain't what you got, it's how you use it. And especially with cooking, that is very, very, very true indeed. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed and found this video useful. If you have, please leave me a like on your way out and subscribe if you haven't and comment. Give me your views. What do you use? What do you prefer to use? And if you think I'm right or not, that would be great. Let's start a conversation. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.